You, where have you been? Partying. Who with? Well, I, uh, I didn't actually catch his name, but, um, he looked like Stephen Gerrard. In fact, you know what? I think he sounded like Stephen Gerrard. And, oh, look, it's Lloyd. It's a lovely lawyer, Lloydy, Lloydy, Lloyd, always there with a smile and an alibi. Well, could we talk about this in the back? No! Talking never does no good. Oh, Ma, are you out of your tiny mind? For once, can we do without the floor show? Look, Becky, Steve told me about the photograph. What is she doing here? I had no idea. She works here, remember? Amy must have sneaked it into the bag. After you went A, well, I had nobody else to open up. I'll bring her round the minute she's finished at school. She'll tell you herself. It's all been a horrible mix-up. One thing mixed up round here, and that is you. And if you think I'm going to let you sit your claws into my man and live... Nothing happened. Whatever Steve told you is true. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, Steve told me that you climbed into bed with him. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Even if you wanted me to. Which I don't. It wouldn't be fair on Amy or Max. Not now we've got things back on an even keel. So, even if you begged me, said he'd never stop loving me. Which I didn't. Or the police, Lloyd. <laughs> what, on me? On me in my own home? You're the one what's locking up for breaking and entering. What? My marriage, my home and my kids. Your kid? Yes, my what? kid! What did I say? <laughs> Lloyd, I tell you what, call the police because I am sick of playing piggy in the middle. She is going to drive you to an early grave, Steve. Does that look like a fit mother to you? Trina, don't forget to send us a postcard. I will. <laughs> 20p tip. 20p? No one round here got a bit of class. See, I could try selling you a load of product. Well, you could try. You, yeah, but you've got great texture, so. I think as long as you scrunch dry this, you'll be fine. I think just use a bit of wax when you're going out. Have you got something to say, David? No, just watching. I made some interesting choices. I picked the style. I was talking technically. Oh, that reminds me. Brett Rowland's coming in in a bit. Oh, that div from FFS. Well, the technical slash colour director. Slash big head permatanned windbag. <laughs> he um, tried selling me a new line, but... What with Audrey being out and me just being a junior stylist, I told him you'd a man. Well, when's he due? Cool. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. James. I'll come out with you. I'm done now. Oh, genius perks. Uh, when's Ronan coming? In about five minutes. I mentioned something about pizza delivery, so it sounds like it could be a late one. Pizza! <sighs> Steve McDonald has the brains of this coffee jar. I mean, why would you risk a night away with the one woman you can pretty much guarantee is gonna rub your wife's nose in it? Are you going for someone more discreet? Yeah, exactly. In his shoes, I mean. Not mine. I mean, I wouldn't. Why would I? Well, you wouldn't. Not unless you want to be able to see teeth without a mirror. Got time for a coffee before work? Yeah, please. Still, makes you wonder, doesn't it, about them two and looking after Max? It's got nothing to do with Max. What's all this? Steve McDonald sneaked off to Blackpool for a night away with Tracy. Becky found out and then had a right go at Tracy in the Rovers. Well, you couldn't expect her to say no. No, but some people clearly enjoy washing their dirty linen in public. No, I get why you wanted Becky to give Max a home before, you know, when you couldn't. But it's different now. My main priority right now is making me a new work. Mm. Well, we do, don't we? Yeah, which must mean I'm doing something right. Mm. Now Gail's finally come down, I can use the bathroom. What were you saying then about Max? I don't want him here. Well, he's Kylie's son. Yeah, and you know how I feel about her. Anyway, do you really want to bring up another man's child? Uh, excuse me? My dad? Martin. You do remember Martin, don't you? Don't be facetious. What, you let him bring up Nick and Sarah? Yeah, so I know what I'm talking about. And they weren't kids who'd been in and out of care, passed from pillar to post. Oh, you mean a child who might actually benefit from having a mum and dad? And I love you.